Collective. This is this morning's haul from the thrift store. A whole bag full of list pads. I'm always looking for one. Look for 50 cents, I got like a hundred of them. <laughs> Grocery list pads. Okay, look at this beautiful, a brand new copy of New, new Testament. I, you've seen my, my threadbare pocket New Testament. Look, I found a brand new one in there. Look at it, isn't that beautiful? Oh, look. Apparently this was a birth gift to someone, to a new baby. But I guess they didn't want it. Anyway, it's mine now. That's interesting. With the baby footprints. Another a notebook. Start somewhere. Well, I'm always filling up notebooks. I take weird notes all all the time. And this, I thought I thought this was cool. I don't even know what it is, but I thought I'd make some art out of it. You know, I've shown you my folk art before. I'll glue this onto something and make it look really cool. And then a package came. See the package over there? I'm gonna open this package next. I think it's my new hat that I ordered. Hey Collective, welcome back to Pearl Snap Tarot. Making snappy. I just got back from my walk. It's a beautiful day here in Alamogordo. And it's sunny and warm, but a little breezy. I had to get out and take the old carcass for a few rounds across the park. The spring always sneaks up on me, you know, I'm always like not paying attention and thinking that winter's gonna last forever and ever and then all of a sudden I look up and see a cherry tree blossoming, blossoming. And uh, I go, oh, <laughs> it is spring, what do you know? So um, I asked for a message when I was on my walk and um, I got that I should talk about a, a video I saw this morning. It's Sam the Illusionist had a video where he channeled Metatron, who said that it's the last push for the, the uh, reptilian and gray clown show to get the hell out of here. And they're leaving. And uh, I guess they're going to Mars or something. They're going to try to have their... Illuminati grunts beat the rest of us up a little bit more. And I saw, I said, <laughs> enough of us are awake now that it don't matter anymore is what I heard. And there's such a clown show. I, I pictured a, you know, one of those, one of those um, little tiny cars at the circus when, you know, 25 clowns get out. That's what, that's what they're like getting in their spaceship. <laughs> a whole bunch of like reptilian goons and gray dumbasses getting in their little clown car and boom, <laughs> taking off. They might not even get anywhere. <laughs> anyway. Let's just throw down a few cards. I'm chuckling. Let's throw down a few cards and see see what we, we get. Okay, thank you for coming by, by the way. My subscriber count keeps growing and I'm just, I'm absolutely amazed, Collective. There's like 77 of you now or something. I haven't checked the number today, but every time I look, there's more and more, so. Thank you to anyone who's coming to my channel. I can hardly believe it. Thank you so much. So speaking of reptilians and grays, I, I found this article in, a, in an online publication a long time ago, but it was exactly what I suspected. It talked about this whole system that they have of harvesting energy off of us, that it, it was pretty much included everything you can think of. Everything we're conditioned to do, all your, every, all your daily activities, your everything was all 
ways for them to harvest your energy off. And it was all siphoned into this huge system they had, it was a big, kind of like a big plumbing system, a big etheric plumbing system with pipes going everywhere and draining it off for, um, for their own consumption, but also for resale, okay? I don't know if anyone's ever seen that movie, uh, Jupiter Ascending, but that's really essentially what the movie is about. And, uh, it, and it had one scene where they bottle up the, they showed the bottled up finished product. It was used as youth serum, okay? And for every bottle, and the bottles are about the size of a liquor bottle, for every bottle they filled full of that stuff, a hundred human lives had to be lived to fill one bottle. Think of it. So everything you did was was pretty much to, you know, harvest your energy off. Like all the stresses you go through, everything from the time you get up in the morning, you know, you having to buy your food and cook it and, and come up with a place to live and pay the rent and put up with some shitty landlord and then go to a job that stressed you out all day and, and uh, meet the, all these deadlines and, uh, you know, and then fight with your neighbors when you come home from work because the music's too loud, all that kind of stuff is all part of this huge, huge, huge energy harvesting system they had, which is dissipating now, it's dissipating. And as we begin to be allowed to, not to be allowed, but, we begin to become sovereign, okay? So we can be the boss of our own energy and we can decide how it's gonna be used and what it's gonna be used for and we don't have to release any to anyone else unless we want to. Um, like say, for example, you're a healer and you wanna work, you know, you, you, you will ascend if you want to help other people. Um, and if you care about others, if you have compassion, you're gonna be able to ascend and become sovereign. So let's just get a little read here and see what the inner the cards have to say about it. Um, yeah, this is look at that. It's the end of their it's the end of their energy harvesting system, and you're going to be allowed to. We're we're all going to calmer waters, you know, and we're even being I think we're being guided there by. Um, by angels and ancestors who care for us. They have compassion for us. They're tired of watching us get drained by these creeps and, and uh, never have anything left for ourselves, hardly. Who's hungry for it? Who feels passionate about becoming sovereign? I do. I really want that bad. I want that. We're there, Collective. We want this, and we're riding. It's ride or die time, right? They're on their final push, they're, and also it's them. They're on their final push. Remember I said they're gonna try to beat us up a little bit more before this is all over. Don't let them. Don't let them. Don't even listen, man. Put your fingers in your ears and go, la, 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 la. Yeah, this is you. Wish is about to be granted. Your, your wish is being granted. You're, we're healing together. Yeah, we're, we're not interested in beating people up or being beaten up. We're trying to mind our own business and heal and do what we want to do, you know? Do what we want to do. Take the water from the spring, water your garden, bathe, take a spiritual bath, wish upon a star. Gee, that makes me think of Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> Maybe that'll be the song I link you to today in the description box. I mean, there's always something extra in the description box at Pearl Snap Tarot. Well, usually there is. Oh. There will be no more of this. They done, okay? They done. If you've been getting gang stalked like I have for the last 20 years or whatever, you know, it's finally gonna end. Cause oh, that, look, it's hammer time for those stupid 
energy harvesters. Their world is blowing up. They, that's why they're leaving, probably. Yeah, they leave, they're taking off in, in bunches, trying to get the heck out of here. That's them leaving real fast. Okay. I do feel a shift in the energies lately. I definitely do. And it feels much more peaceful um, to me lately. Um, I was attacked horribly about a month ago. And it took me weeks to get over it. And um, I'm pretty sure it was root chakra attacks. Because uh, some stuff went wrong down there for me, too, physically. And I was going around with these horrible feelings of dread and stuff for a couple weeks that I finally realized what was going on and I returned it to the senders. And it, you know, it might be that some of these senders are demised because I think they were putting death spells. And if, if, if I was returning death spells tenfold, well then, you know, maybe somebody ain't here anymore. That's, I was given that on the walk too, that they were projecting death spells, and if you returned it successfully, it killed them, you know? So, a bunch of coven pricks. A bunch of coven pricks. Went down, man. Okay. Ooh. Look at that. So, you know, if you think somebody's doing that to you, just return it. Return it to the sender tenfold. And then go on about your business. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, see, that's coming right underneath the... Uh... No more gang stalking. Um... Yeah, these demons are... They're... They know their time is up. Wow! They know their time is up. They've been here for a long time, cultivating us, harvesting energy off of us for a long, long, long time. I just heard seven generations. But this is sovereignty. This, this land is our land, okay? Ain't no room for these demons. No room for them. We are sovereign, self-sufficient humans. We are godly, okay? We have our spiritual sovereignty, our physical sovereignty. This is what we're, this is the fruits of our labor now that we're gonna come into um, because we're ascending. Let's put a few of these down on, on this read. I love these. Um, let's put a few of these down. What messages do you have for us, Spirit? Secrets. Okay. I'm getting that these horrible demons that are taking off and running and they're having a tower and they're running and everything. They had a lot of secrets still they're trying to hide. They've got a lot of secrets that might even be where they're running because we're about to find out some stuff. That's what I just heard. We're about to find out some stuff about what they were doing. Uh-oh. Uh, well, good. We need to know, I'm sure. Yeah, because we're, we've been in rebellion. This planet's been in rebellion. We've been fighting back against these demons and these, they're really, you know, what a demon is, it's, it's really like an interdimensional um, form of one of these reptilians or greys that they figured out, they have, a, they have a technology where they can dematerialize themselves and, and uh, attach to a, a human and um, go in that human body and, and act out and, and, and have a big orgy of being mean to other people. As soon as they're gone, we're going to be able to experience real friendship again. 
you know, they don't know what that is. They don't understand what friendship is. They have no compassion. They, they have no hearts. They have no souls. They're like soulless. They're just spirits that snatch bodies and um, they think they thought they owned us, but we're showing them, we're kicking them out with prejudice, okay? They're not gonna do that stuff to us anymore. Get ready to celebrate, people. What else? What other messages do you have for us? It's this one wanted to come. Power! Look, humanity is going to come into its power now because we'll finally be rid of these horrible predatory uh, demons that were sucking the life out of everybody, out of the planet. Sucking the life out of the place. We're getting rid of them. They're running because they don't want us to know. They're, we're about to find out some stuff about what they were doing, I think. I don't think that's what that secrets card is. What is the secrets thing, please? Can you tell us what the secrets are? Holy Spirit, what are the secrets? What are these? Wow, too many. What are these secrets they don't want us to know? Why are they running over these secrets? Well, they certainly are trying to escape. It's definitely, we just got confirmation they're trying to escape. And you don't really use that word unless you mean you're, you're, you're running. You're running, okay? So what, what are these secrets? We might have to pull a few other. What are these secrets? Ostentation. Okay. I'm getting it's about the money they were stealing and, and the people who were, you know, um, peacocking around, right? Showing off the wealth and stuff. They weren't even entitled to it. It was all stolen from us anyway. There's some secrets around money, um, apparently. Um, and that probably is why the, everything's imploding, you know, the financial system is melting down and stuff. And these, these fiends, they, they uh, let's see, I don't think any of these other decks are appropriate. Let me go get, uh, hang on, I don't know if anybody even believes in any of this gray and reptilian stuff out there, but if you do... This reading's for you. I, okay, I went to get this Mystic Martian Oracle deck. <laughs> Since we're talking about that kind of stuff today, uh, I, I believe it. I, I just don't think that... I've always thought there's some other race, you know, in the background, in the shadows, controlling everything, because why would humans be so mean to humans, you know? I don't know. <laughs> So let's see, what do you have for us? What messages can we get from the Mystic Martian Oracle today on here since we're talking aliens? And we're coming to you live from Alamogordo. Well, not live. We can't go live yet until we get 1,000 subscribers. So invite all your friends and your family and everybody and, and to subscribe so I can start coming to you live um, and, and also monetizing my channel. I, I really would like to make some income. Um, okay, enough of that. <laughs> Sorry. All right, what messages do we have here? We have tall whites. Tall whites. Let's just pick two. And we have crop circles. Oh, crop circles are kind of interesting. All right, now I, I'm going to get the book out on these because I don't know what these things mean. So number 20, tall whites, uncertainty, distrust, and guarded. Oh, my Card meaning uncertainty, wary, skeptical, caution, cynical, guarded, distrust, aloof, pause, on hold, sensitive, agile, exercise. Okay, so I'm getting from this card meaning that for aliens right now on, the, on Earth, it's a time of uncertainty. They are wary and skeptical. They're operating with caution. They're guarded. They don't trust us. Well, that's because... We know what they've done to us. We don't, you know, we, we'd like to get rid of them. So they are antagonistic towards us. It says aloof, pause, on hold, sensitive, agile, exercise. Okay, what is crop circles? It says messages, curiosity, and signs. Okay, so maybe we're going to be having some signs. I said 
Various sources have said we're going to begin having contact with um, ET races soon. So um, what is the meaning of this card? Signs, omens, messages, texts, emails, curiosity, communication, unexpected, acknowledgement, validation. Okay, so I'm getting, we're going to have our, we're going to, people are wondering, there's a lot of people still wondering, are there ET races here? Well, we're, that's going to be validated soon. It's, it's going to be acknowledged. It'll be unexpected, but we are going to get communication from them, it looks like. Uh, gee, looks like you might even get a text or an email from one. <laughs> You'll see signs and omens such as crop circles. Okay, so, yeah, so they're here. But they're a little scared, they're a little freaked out, right? They're trying to leave, a lot of them. But we may very well have contact with them, with some of these races. We may very well begin having contact with them. Yeah, you having some right now. <laughs> okay, now I just wanted to get a couple of these nice Oracle card messages from the Creativity Oracle. This is really cool. It has really, really cool illustrations. So let's see what we get out of here today. These are kind of hard to shuffle. What nice Creativity Oracle message do you have for us? before we close this reading out. Passion. Okay, well, this reading opened up with passion, remember? We had the Knight of Wands out. It, it will take passion for you to push through your self-criticism to get to a place of confidence. So we're still gonna have to fight a little bit to get, to, to get our sovereignty and to get on our feet and to like, get our sea legs going, but we're passionate about this. There's some drama, maybe gonna go down. It looks pretty dramatic. <laughs> I'm getting there's high um, emotions on both sides as these, these aliens try to make their escape and, uh, and they're, they're having the tower come down on them at the same time, right? So yeah, there is some drama going on. This just readings turns out to be about aliens. <laughs> okay, let's see what else. We've got change. For a change, do something you usually do a certain way in a different way. Yeah, okay, that kind of goes back to what I was saying about um, how everything, they had this world designed so that every single thing you did was designed to harvest off your energy and and flush it into that big sewage collecting system, you know, that they had the big, uh, you know, the, all the um, plumbing, I, I called it. So, you know, we're gonna find that there's change in what we're doing anyway, I'm getting automatically because once they're gone, then you're not gonna feel all this crazy pressure and deadlines and all that anymore. You get to do things at your own pace. You get to run on your own power now. You'll do things at your own pace the way you want to do them, right? So that means doing them a little bit different than you used to. You're not gonna be all rushed up all the time to do stuff, right? Capable, you're capable. We're all capable of, of coming into this change. You can deal successfully with whatever challenges and circumstances arise. Get on your horse and get up. Get along, little doggy. You can do it. You can do it. I think we're gonna end it there, collective. Um, keep your eyes open. Don't get tripped up by any of these weirdos, you know, any of the circus clowns. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Please like, share, subscribe. Collective, um, 
a couple more notes about sovereignty and, and, and then I'll show you my new hat before we go. <laughs> and another project I did yesterday, but um, look, I'm so grateful that I, I can take my time making a beautiful meal like this, okay? And this is leftovers. Look at how beautiful that is. Everything that's in here is leftovers, but it's like, it's salmon and avocados and feta cheese, and I love this. It's really good. So, and your sovereignty. This is something we're all getting used to. We have time. I spent my life rushing around, rushing to meet, to get to work, not having time to fix a beautiful meal like that. You know, now we do we have that. We're just babies in our sovereignty. So just take things one step at a time. Baby steps. Baby steps and enjoy the little things like making a beautiful meal or this was my project yesterday, I'll show you. Yesterday I dug up the old hummingbird feeder and I actually made some nectar. Let me get over here. I made some nectar myself and then I made, uh, see those tassels? I made the tassels so they could find it and sure enough, a bunch of them came. They've been coming like crazy. There isn't one right now, but I was so thrilled. It's the little things, the little things, Collective. Savor the little things. Justice is coming. <laughs>